Welcome, let's solve this exponential equation. The first thing to check is to see if there are any integer solutions. Let's check x equals two. As you see, the left hand side will be 36, which is smaller than 81. Let's try x equals three. As you see, we're gonna have four 27s, definitely greater than 81. So we know that the solution has to be between two and three. Now let's actually solve the equation. As you see, we have four of these terms. So we're gonna write it as four times three to the power of x equals 81. Let's divide both sides by four. Okay, and how to deal with this? Okay, we need logarithm rules. So I'm gonna write them one by one here. And because we want to find the decimal value in this video, just for fun. Uh, so I'm giving you logarithm three. You're going to need that later. So let's take logs from both sides. And now here, you can see we're going to use this logarithm rule. Okay, we're gonna write it as log A minus log B. In this case, it's gonna be log 81 minus log four. Okay. Next, we're going to write 84 as three to the fourth power and four the same as two squared. Now we're going to use this rule. Here we know that the exponent can come to the front. So let's just do that. Okay, now the next step is dividing all terms by logarithm three. Okay, so now you can see here four log three divided by log three is going to be four minus two log two over log three. Okay, this is the solution, but there are two things to check yet, okay? And the first thing to check is, are we sure that there are only one solution to the equation? The answer is yes. Look here, three to power of x is exponential and increasing, okay? So for this equation like this, there is only one point at which it will produce this value 81 over four, which is around 20, so I'm gonna write 20. If X is a little more, this function will create something larger, a little less, always smaller. So there's only one solution, and this is the one that we got over here. Okay, now, as I promised, we're going to have a decimal value for our solution. We have log three, we don't have log two, but with this trick, we could find an approximation for log through for log two. 1024 is equal to two to the tenth power. Okay. And now let's take logs from both sides. And we know that exponents can come to front. Let's just do that. So we're going to have 10 log 2 equals 3 log 10. And the base of log is 10. So log 10 is 1. So now we have the approximation. Log 2 is approximately equal to 0 0.3. Now all we have to do is just to plug in the values that we found into the main solution. Okay. Log two is 0 0.3. Log three is 0 0.48. 
Now we just have to simplify. So there you go, we found our approximation. This is 2.75. That's the decimal value that we're looking for. I hope you found the video useful.